Hi, and welcome to lecture 13. In the last lecture, we learned about the OS library. Just like any other library, it provides the right tool for the right occasion. The OS name option tells us the name of the operating system we are using. The OS list directory option tells us all the file names in the folder. Besides these two options, what are the options we have? Well, there are a lot of them. There's no way that I will be able to teach you all of them individually. So today, I will show you how to get all the options inside a library. Remember the idle interpreter we used to use? We haven't used them much besides displaying our outputs. Believe it or not, they're actually very useful in finding out information. For example, we can use them to find out what tools we can get from a library. Let me show you how. If I import the OS library, you can type this command to find out all the tools inside the OS library, the directory of OS. See, these are all the tools inside the OS library. From here, you can find the two commands I showed you yesterday. The command name is here, see it, which tells us the name of the operating system. And list directory is also here which tells us the file name inside a folder. If you want to know what they do, you can even print out a brief description of them. For example, if I type in print os.list directory, the documentation, that's a double underscore, you have two there. Uh, it will say, return a list containing the name of the entries in the directory. You're basically printing out the documentation for the list directory by typing this command. If I try OS get CWD doc, this will tell me the current directory. So if you ever want to find out what directory, what path name you're under, which we haven't talked about path name yet, but um, we will, or folder I'm in, if I were to run this command, it'll tell you how to get there os.getcwd. You can use this method to find out info about any library. Remember we used to use the TK interlibrary? Let's try that one. I will import the TK interlibrary first. Once we have imported it, let's find out the directory TK inter. Notice how we have the button command here? Yes, this is the same button command we've been using to create the buttons. And over here, we have the entry command. We use this command to create an uh, entry box. You can find out the documentation of the entry box by typing print tkinter.entry.documentation. Or you can find out the sub tools that the entry box has by typing directory tkinterentry. So, you have these toolboxes, they are called libraries, and you have the tools inside the library, and the tools have sub-tools that you can use as well. Yeah, that's kind of a lot of tools, as you can see. Remember how we get the input from the entry box? Well, we always use the command get. You see how get is right here? So basically, using tkinter, you can get the entry box. And with the entry box, there are some functions that you can do with them. And get was an example of that. So with this concept under our belt, I want to introduce to you another library. The string library. The string library basically works with text manipulation. The reason why we want to use the text manipulation is because, well, our program kind of needs it. In the last lecture, we learned how to get all the file names inside a folder. The next step is to look at the name of the file and tell if we got a picture or we got a program. Remember, we only want to put the picture in the list box, not programs or folders. So how do we tell the difference between programs and pictures? Well, one obvious way is by looking at the name. All the pictures inside the folder, as you might have noticed, ends with .gif, while all the programs ends with .py. 
and the ones um, with nothing, they're probably folders. So from knowing this, we can check if the string ends with .gif. If it does, then we got a picture and we'll put it in the list box. If it doesn't, we'll ignore it. So let's find out what options we have with the string library. So remember what I taught you to find